Welcome back to the diesel stop. So I have a 05 Common Rail Cummins here that I'm going to be uh, rebuilding. And this is a uh, sad situation here on this motor. This thing's got about uh, 14,000 miles on the oil that's in it right now. This motor only has about 140 or 50,000 miles on it. And uh, the kid that jumped in this truck was hauling about 20,000 pounds in cattle behind it in a uh, stock trailer. So when he got in it, he just started uh, hammering down and kept it tacked out way too long. And then the uh, bearings and the bottom end couldn't take it anymore, being that they're stock bearings. And uh, so we got a rod knocking in this thing now. So I'm gonna go on ahead and rebuild this motor here. I've got some tools to try out on this project here. And uh, the tools are coming from Torque Technology, and they are Torque Tools. If you guys get the chance to look them up on the uh, internet, they got all kinds of cool tools for the uh, Cummins. And then a um, couple of things that's been going on. Uh, Pure Marquette Diesel. They've uh, sent some injectors out for the uh, Green Dodge. So I done some videos on installing hunter horse injectors, and I didn't post them videos because I'm uh, I'm gonna pull the uh, hunter horse injectors back out of it. And these were the uh, stock injectors that I put in it, and I'm gonna pull the uh, hunter horse injectors out of it, and then I'm gonna run these uh, two hunter horse injectors in it. And as what I'm waiting for right now is some uh, drilled out uh, connector tubes right now for the injectors. So. I'll get some uh, videos up of the uh, 200 horse injector install here shortly. I've stripped a lot of the uh, stuff off this motor and um, anyhow I'm going to take the wires off the injectors here and I've already got the uh, top of the uh, plate loose here that holds the valve cover on. So once I uh, take these wires off the injectors I'll just be able to pick the uh, whole plate off the top. This uh, common rail here is not mine, it's a friend of mine. If you guys remember, I built a uh, 12 valve form quite a while back. It, was, it went into a uh, red Dodge pickup. So whenever it comes to the uh, Cummins, he usually has me uh, build his motors for him. And that was... As I was saying before, the uh, oil in this thing has got between 12 and 14,000 miles on it. And I kind of want to give you a look at what this oil is looking like here. Let me get this last one on done, I'll show you. So the harness stays in the top here. <clears throat> Here's what the uh, oil looked like that came out of this motor. And as you can see, it's uh, real thick, it's real gritty, and you got to use uh, some pretty uh, awesome hand cleaner to get this stuff off your hands. That's how bad this oil is. Here's your 
rocker arm assembly. So what I'm doing now is pulling all the uh, retaining bolts out for the injectors and then uh, next we'll pull the uh, connecting tubes out. They go into the side of the head here. Once we get the uh, connecting tubes out then we can pull our injectors out. So the next thing we're going to do here is move the uh, connector tubes away from the injectors so we can pull the injectors. And this tool that I'm going to use here is made by Torque Tools. And um, this here is what it looks like. So I've already broke loose the retaining nuts for the connector tubes. So you're going to pull the retaining nut. You're going to screw on the puller. The best way to do it actually is to leave yourself just a little bit of gap in between the uh, head and the tool and get you a screwdriver pop it out a little bit and this is your connector tube that goes into your injector this particular tool for the common rail is the CRC TR Zero one zero. So the next thing we're going to do here is pull the injectors. And these here are the injectors for a common rail. Thank you. 
So I found part of the problem with this motor here already. And as you can see, this is the, uh, well you can't see, but this is in the uh, number three piston right here. And on the edge of this piston, it's got a burn spot on the uh, side of the piston, which I can actually touch the uh, first ring with this little screwdriver right here. And this thing is uh, pretty well toasted, this piston is. The uh, cylinder has uh, quite a bit of scarring in it. I've already, uh, I've already got the pistons for it, which I uh, I'd already planned on something bad being wrong with this uh, motor here. So I got a 40 over pistons, and with the uh, grooves that are cut to the uh, side of the cylinder here, it'll uh, I'm pretty sure it'll clear up with a uh, 40 over bore. And the uh, pistons that we're going to put back into this uh, Cummins here. They are uh, ceramic coated by Polydyne and they have the uh, Polydyne DL on the skirts of the pistons. Um, we're going to be taking some uh, extra precautions on this motor. Like I said, the uh, ceramic coated pistons, uh, the uh, Polydyne DL on the skirts, and then we're even, uh, we even had the uh, bearings coated for this uh, Cummins here, the uh, rods and the mains and all that. So. I believe is what the uh, contributing uh, factor was to this motor here to get melted down like this was um, I'd say more of a chance of a faulty injector and then the uh, extended oil change on the thing and then um, the abuse this thing had while it was pulling a 20,000 pound of cattle you know keeping it uh, tacked out for such a long time so that can all go into a factor of how this uh, piston got melted down here and I'm gonna shut down here for today guys so if you hadn't had the chance to subscribe subscribe and we'll see you later thanks for watching watching <laughs>